So in this video we are going to talk about once again a Pandora box because it's in jungle of the Pandora box and the main problem with these boxes are there are a lot of crappy stuff so I want to review them all so you don't have to buy the crappy ones. Let me do it. Let me burn my money so you don't have to. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell because you're going to get notified when I'm uploading a new video. But first of all, let's talk about what are we going to get with the Pandora box itself. It comes with the power supply. It comes with an USB cable because we can connect the thing to a system like the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. No, and not really the PlayStation 4. We have a VGA cable, a very long HDMI cable. It depends a little bit where you buy it, because sometimes you're giving you the deluxe version, sometimes a very cheap version. And of course, the power cable, because I need it. And keep in mind when you're ordering, click on the right one, otherwise you cannot connect it. We don't need this anymore. Alright, so let's talk about the stick itself. So I need to point out, I just got the blue one. I just always buying these basic blue versions. But there are quite some different versions out there. It depends also where you're going to buy it. But there are one with Street Fighter, uh, or King of Fighter, decals, you name it. Because this is a very thick acrylic plate. And on top they're just using this sticker. So that's the reason why there are so many different versions. Alright, so keep in mind when you're ordering the cheap versions. So these are a little bit cheaper than usual. The official Pandora books are around 250 euros and these are around, yeah, let's say 150, uh, up to up to 200. Depends a little bit where you buy it again. But this is the cheap version. It comes with the Chinese Wicked Wiggle Stick. The cheap clickish buttons, nothing very special. So here we have the coin button and here we have the pause button and we have two start buttons. Player one. Play it to the pause button basically going back to the menu and the coin buttons for giving you credit if needed. Sometimes the system is configured when pressing the star button you're going to get in credit very easily. Alright so at the back we're having the on and off switch, input for power, HDMI out, VGA out, audio out, volume control, the little button for settings and two USB. Some of these mainboards support controllers so far I know this one doesn't. And there's also a little bit different some have just this big hole. Or this big, very big hole, yeah. Because you can just basically add every Pandora box, but you are limited through the connections on your main board. I did a separate review about it, so just check the full Pandora box list. There are a lot of information if you can upgrade this thing, because it's highly possible that you're buying, for example, a Pandora box, if I'm saying correctly, 9S Plus, for example, and doesn't even fit in this case. So just want to point it out. And when you've removed the three screws here at the front, you can just open it up like this. Alright, so this is a very basic stick and what you can see, there are not a lot of parts in it. Everything is connected very nice. But if you want to swap out your joystick and buttons, it's so easy to do. Here we have the main board itself that's connected over here through the cable harness to the buttons. Very, it's so easy to install a new main board. Basically, you can just pull it out put a new bayboard in it and stick it back in. Here we have the two cables. This one is for the on and off switch and this is for the little speaker. They are using the 5 watts edition. That's pretty cool because these are very loud. You can see it but there is an RGG strip in here. So if you don't like it you can just pull it out and it has no light up feature. Alright so we have in here the Pandora Games X Plus. So what is the Pandora Games X Plus? It's another clone from the Pandora Box 5. Because so far I know there is no option to, let's say, quick load, quick save, there is no option whatsoever to add games, there is no search engine, it's just one big list. So, the funny thing is, like the Pandora Box 6, I have some three dimensional games, a couple of them, uh, only they added a lot of more two dimensional games. So, this is what you're going to get, the list is pretty long. Is a lot of different game, but a lot of double games. There are some hack games I really like. For example, we have in Art of Fighting 2 and we have in the boss edition. So this means we can play with the final bosses. That is so far I know not possible with the original game. I don't know what's the difference between this. Um, there are basically two extra games. No idea what are the differences. Something just using totally different names for the same game. And that is something that is very annoying. One big messy list, so it's basically one big shit pile to be honest. 
The funny thing is that they are using the decals, but so far I know there is no freaking way of going to do the search. There is no way. I don't know how they did it, what they did, but basically they messed it up somehow. The O testing we have here. So I have this idea that it is a little bit different like previous models, but nevertheless, at the end, we're getting the same stuff. What you can see for system configuration, you can see there are not a lot of options. Quality optimization is still here. There is just on and off. There's no scan lines. There's no SPS ratio changing, nothing to see here. Need to find out where's my button, but you can see you can drop the things over here. Yeah, yeah. So the honest funny thing is that there's not even a boot up sequence, nothing, not even a decal, it just goes straight into the Pandora box itself. That's basically a positive thing that I found. Wow. But nevertheless, let's play some games. Let's see what, how it runs. We still have the screen tearing issues. I have a character in a game that was called Spanky. That is what we call King K. Oh, that's a really powerful move. Alright, so let's see how Mortal Kombat is running. Hmm, it seems to be that it's running just fine. Alright. Freaking unbelievable! The first main board that I found beside Pro Network 6 and 5 that's running Mortal Kombat. That needs an applause, so yeah. Let's see how the joystick is. I still don't see the screen tearing here and there, so that's a little bit of a bummer that they still didn't fix it. Alright people, it's time for some whipping. So. That's what we call a big sound difference. This is the first time that I see this again.
So this is what we're going to get with the Pandora X Plus. I must say it's an one of a kind mainboard at the moment. I have never seen a similar mainboard. It's more like a fusion combination of different boards. If you look at the features and the things that's going on with this. I must say it's not the baddest board I have seen. It got even Virtual Fighter that I've never seen before. That was the first time or I just missed it out with a previous model. But that's always possible because we're having so many big messy shitty lists. 